sound so disappointed. I don't know. <laughs> In the worlds of uh, Team 12's Matt Uris, sup, dudes. Um, sup. A little informal on the after show today because mm -hmm. uh, we just had a 12 News potluck. So Yay! Thanksgiving is next week. A lot of people are out of town. They're not around. So we're like, all right, everyone bring in a holiday yep. favorite. Look at yeah. Brett Brett and Josh morning. making it in the after show. These are humans you never get to see. Say hi, Mom. But they're critical. Yeah, these are important humans. They're critical um, to the product. Getting some important food. You know what, Dave? Just stay on them right now. Steady cam, Dave. Just yeah. I want to see what they get. I want to see what they don't They're take. More importantly, they have Aww. stuffing, bacon. There's turkey. bacon here today. Josh, don't, you mashed potatoes. Be my chili. Don't mind my crunching. I'm eating uh, Paul's Chex Mix. Oh yeah, homemade Chex Mix. Very good. Dad's recipe. Can I just say mm -hmm. that Croissants, your turkey bacon. chili is mm -hmm. the truth? Like it is so Thank good. You. We're all eating it right now, actually. It was delicious. From the heart, I appreciate that because you know I always slam on my cooking, quote unquote, skills. Well, you do Paul not. Paul said it. he was scared to try it. Well, I would thought so. maybe. You set the bar so yeah. low. It was basically on the ground, That's and you're like, I can't life. cook. And yeah. then you brought in a turkey like chili, which is nothing. you know somewhat ambitious. I did, and I've never made it before, so I was really what? excited. Yes. This was the first time you ever made wow. that. Yes. It only gets worse from here. <laughs> <laughs> I just go, get back to us in 45 minutes. Make yeah, sure everybody's. Right. I tracked is still <laughs> intact. Who did the popcorn? I know. Who did uh, it was, um, the popcorn? Mm. Gabe. Gabe. Was it Gabe? Well done. Social media no, Gabe well watching done, upstairs Gabe. right now. That was, mm. it's like a giant, we need a shot of the popcorn. It's very Steady sticky. Cam Just Dave come to my plate. Steady Cam Dave is like eating bacon right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you could see Dave. That is multitasking. Oh bacon That's hanging out of his mouth. <laughs> We did the reverse shot. This okay. is a gong show already, man. Well, what are we I mean, doing? Look at that. It's People so can, sticky. You got to be careful with it. People can relate to this because it's that time of the year. Yeah, where yeah. Everybody's having potlucks at work. I Dave, see everybody show post my chili, about it. Dave, show, it's right south of there. Yeah, there. Look, it's, it's almost, almost gone. gone. Yeah, I had to get a second bowl. That's yeah. good stuff. I had two as well. You know what the key was? Is What's the that, key? Um, real human meat. So I did have real meat, and it was not a mystery meat. It's actually turkey. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. And then I also put in pure pumpkin puree. Oh. oh, that's what gives oh. it the little savory and then yeah. cinnamon. But okay. then you hit it with the Tabasco on the back end. Right, right. Hit it with the oh. Tabasco in the back. Yeah, more, yeah, more bacon yeah, for Dave. Yeah. Bacon, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> and we know that the fresh bacon is a crowd favorite as always. Yes. Yeah, we have way more people watching the show today than yesterday. And I, I it's probably because of the impeachment hearings and who's testifying. But I'd like to think it's because we're talking about a potluck food. and not I any mean, serious I mean, issues. everybody office loves potluck. food. Everybody loves right. an office potluck. So what are your go to dishes? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what we wanted to know. And what are we missing? Like, yeah. What, what yeah. don't we have over there? I slaved away making these fresh croissants. Oh, wow. And then also <laughs> churning cheese. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. But it works so well with like the bacon cheese. Yes, they, I made they a bacon look sandwich. Like they're from Costco, but they're not. No, mm -mm. they're from Crystal's Kitchen. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. The other thing we're talking about today, besides shoving food in mm -hmm. our faces, mm -hmm. um, what it, are people it, commenting on? Well, they're commenting on the thing we're talking about, okay, which is ahead. why I was was going to bring it up because the, the people are just having their own conversation without you us. Like they, okay, okay. They've moved Sorry, on with we're the late show. To the party. You guys don't need us. No, you don't. Yeah. Um, you guys do your thing, and then we'll do ours, Security which is ritual. mostly just eating. <laughs> Uh, so the, the thing we're talking about this morning uh, is is your best excuse uh, when you're late for work. So we talked about this on the show this morning. There was some recent survey that sort of uh, collated some really terrible excuses that people had been using. And it, it said that like three in 10 Americans have been late to work in the last month, yeah. which I guess that sounds about right. There are people I know that are late to work every day. Yes. What do you I won't name names. <laughs> Who are you looking at? Um, what, what's your best what, excuse? What is on time? Really? <laughs> what is on? What is time, man? It's all relative. It's all about, about noon. perception. You can't be late. Like there is no option to be late. The show starts at the same time, literally every day. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Gabe's dad who yeah. brought in the popcorn, by the way. He was up at 2 a.m. Oh, to get it ready. Oh, Gabe's Thank dad. You. What's his name? Real MVP. Uh, I should know this because he's always watching the show. David, right? It's David. David. David's your dad's name? Tell me I'm right, Gabe. Tell me I'm right. You did. Give us a nod. Uh, he will in a second. Anyway, uh, so people in the comment section have already listed a bunch of terrible excuses <laughs> to be late to work. Good Wait, they like Lance's. All right, give it with some comedic timing, though. Like, I want you to sell it to me. Wait. Give me the excuse like you're calling into work. Hello, this is work. Vanessa, is this you? Well, Lance said, I showed up to work, and the parking lot was full, so I just went home. <laughs> I figured they had enough people. <laughs> That's fantastic. Well that done. makes sense. Yes. That is brilliant. I've done that at, at school once. If back when I was in college. have a big enough parking lot. It's on them. It's on them. It's yeah. not your fault. Yeah. Chloe, mm -hmm. my toddler had to put shoes on his dinosaur. No. Oh. That takes time. Yeah. You can't yeah, interrupt them time. and they have a bad day. You ever try to wrangle a dinosaur into a shoe before? You ever oh, try to stop easy. a toddler from doing something? Well, right? That's, that's the other side saying. of that equation. Yeah. <laughs>
Um, legitimately, though, when I was in college one time, I well, probably more than once, actually, because I would look for any excuse not to go to class, but I, I went to where the thing was, and I drove around the parking lot, and I drove it around for like 10, 15 minutes to the point where I was late to class. It. And I was like, there's nowhere to park. I'm going home. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Well, one of the things I really loved about college is you really didn't need an excuse. Right. To not right. Yeah, class. Don't you just didn't show up. Yeah. And then you just probably didn't That's use bad. a lot on the test. But, I mean, yeah. I show up and I'm like, it's going to be sunny. They don't need me. Bye. <laughs> uh, Amanda says, my ferret stole my keys as a work excuse. <laughs> Ferrets like shiny things, from what I understand mm, about really the animal do. kingdom. Yeah, so uh, there's a chance that could So happen. do I. Am I a ferret? Yeah, me. And like we learned Sparkly. yesterday that most people have nine keys on their keychain and... Only oh, yeah. use three of them. Right? Use a Which three keys fraction. would you use? Your car key, your, your home car, key, your, your mail house, key? Your house, and your what? Your mail key. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, for people who live in apartments, I've got a mail key. Mm -hmm. I have two locks, two doors for my house, two locks on my house, so I do two keys for that. Yeah. We streamlined this time. I was like, I'm stuck carrying around eight keys for one house. We're just going to have one locksmith come and every one key. Mm. Hey, I got Gabe's dad's name right, by the way. Yay! Yay. A plus. David. Kobe! Oh, <laughs> um, it's not Kobe. It's David. What are your most often? I don't know if it's like calling out sick or just late or either. Mostly like calling out sick totally is um, food poisoning. People get mm. a yeah. lot of food poisoning. Like how many? But times when you really year? have it, yeah. wow. Yeah, yes. there's no excuse. Yeah. How many like, times in the year can you use that excuse? Let me say this. So I'm a little bit of an economist when it comes to uh, food waste. I don't like to waste food. So if I buy something, I'm I'm gonna eat it. And that doesn't always happen within the uh, expiry date. Oh. Uh, so there are some times that I am putting down some suspect, especially fruits and vegetables. Uh, milk, I don't mess with too much because it, it has a foul odor once it starts to go yeah, bad. And that's tough to chunky. shut it down. Once it's chunky going down your throat. Yeah, not good. Kind no, of no. an immediate effect. Yeah, yeah mm, the shamrock chunky yeah. version. I, I don't mess it. with mm. it, dairy often. It's a, when dairy goes bad, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's never going to be a good situation. Fruits and vegetables are fine. And meats, I'm like, how long do you leave? I've had, oh my gosh. Yeah, I've done some suspect things I made spaghetti a week ago. Still eating it for lunch. Yeah. Well, what you're supposed to, right. So like, <laughs> once so it's acid cooked though. There's so tomato sauce. I mean. Cooked, you're fine. Oh, yeah. But the raw stuff, right? Just you're not supposed it. to like leave it in your fridge for more than a couple days when you thaw it out. And I've, I've broken that rule like a few loose times. On that one. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, I put myself in a position where I could have food poisoning a lot, yeah. and I can't remember the last time I had it. So I'm, I don't know how valid a lot of those excuses are. You yeah. know what though? That excuse is good because they really won't. How can they question? Yeah. Right. How can you check it's, that? It gets so disgusting right. that you're just assuming that your boss is not going to be like, you don't well, go send detail. me a picture. Yeah. 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 Like, I can't do that. You know? Right. Which end is it coming out of? I need to know. Yeah. Both. 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 I'll you're see like, you tomorrow. Either way, I have to keep going to the bathroom. So yeah. this isn't going to work. Oh, cool. I don't want this chili anymore. Thanks for ruining it for me, guys. Appreciate that. Okay. Wait, listen Give to Jeff Give it 25 here. minutes. Know, okay, I'm Jeff. Like He's putting us all to shame. Okay. Oh, no. He said, never late. I can't disrespect my job by being late. They don't pay me to be late, so I don't show up late. I'm always at least 15 minutes early. Nice. If you're on time, right. you're late. <gasps> I love that. Wow. Listen, Jeff, we all try to be Those are all time, goals. Man. Life happens. Yeah. Aspirations. All right, Jeff. Yeah, Jeff, you're showing us up on our show, man. Well, first of all, when you wake up <laughs> at 2 a.m., there's sometimes you got to hit that snooze button a couple extra times because you're yeah. exhausted, and yeah. it's not normal for your body to wake up around that time. No. Well, my thing yeah. is, when my alarm is set to go off, I'm already late. I should have gotten up. Right. 15, yeah. I should have set the alarm 15 minutes ago. So I'm already starting off late. Okay, yeah. so let's just begin with that. You ever do that thing when you're laying in bed and you start crossing things off the routine to, to hit the snooze yeah. again? Like, well, I was going to shave this morning. If I skip But this, if I hit the snooze, I won't have time doing to. doing that all but, month. Yeah, right. No. <laughs> Whoops. No, mine is down to the minute. I have 15 minutes from the time the alarm goes off to be in my car. That's wow. wild, yeah. What? At, at, as, as the fairer gender, let me tell you, oh. that is marvelous. I don't know any women that could be ready in 15 but I get, minutes. I do put my makeup on here okay well that helps but as yeah. far as like you know br i brush my teeth i go to the bathroom i put on a dress you I don't shower in the mornings no i do everything no. the night before i knew that i Same. pour no, my I'm coffee <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching jk jk <laughs> oh no i meant your smell but <laughs> oh wait hold on that came off way creepier than i meant what i meant is i sit next house. to her at all times and i could smell her not right oh right. man now oh, i'm a weirdo gosh. too late yeah yeah, so we it's all there. timed. Pour my coffee and I'm in the car by 3.01. Wow. <laughs> you don't have pets. You know you know what happened made me late yeah. multiple so, yeah, times? Or my yeah, pets? Yeah, Never. Yeah. Either oh they 
don't want to wake up because it's mm. so early in the right. morning. Like I have to make them go, wake up to go outside or they have an accident in the house mm. because it is so early. And then when I try to wake them up, they don't wake up. But then when I'm getting ready, they go and use the restroom. Yeah. Then I have to clean up their accident or one gets sick. And it's just like so many things yeah. going on in the morning with them. And I'm like, you guys, I got to go. Let's go. Let's go. Like I'm talking to my kids. And they don't speak English, so it's real <laughs> yeah, tough. It's very no. confusing, the translation. No, my kids are like dead asleep, thank goodness. So no, we just, yeah. Head out the door, thank goodness. When you guys call into work, if and when, and I, this isn't a group that calls in an awful lot just by nature of what we do for a living, but when you do call into work, do you ever feel the need to add just a little, as the French would say, je ne sais quoi to your voice, even if you are legitimately sick? You've got strep throat, you are laid out, there's gross back here in your throat, you got a doctor's note and everything, and then you call, and instead of just being like, hey, George, man, I'm sick, I can't come in, I went to the doctor, I got strep, you're like, hello. <laughs> I can't even talk. I'm so sorry. I can't. Yeah. I can't do the Well, news wait. Like these this. days, you text. So I called oh, in even on better. Monday because I it. didn't feel well at all. Like I woke up and I even took a shower trying to make it in here because I knew it was so yeah. late in the morning to call in, but I, it was not going to happen. So I text and then I told our boss, I was like, if you need me to call you, I will because I sounded yeah. like crap. Mm. So, but he was like, it's fine. I'm like, okay, cool. So sorry, Crystal. Thank you for covering. So you're the reason we're not allowed yeah. to text in anymore. Uh -huh. I, 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 I thought get there it. was a no text call. <laughs> there, is. there is. Well, I didn't want to I call. Think mornings, it's probably different. Yeah. Because it's like, you you know. Because everybody's one busy, manager, running around. And he's doing 80 million yeah. things. So it's like, you got to just catch it when you catch it. Kendall says, that's the truth. Which it's part? All of it. All of it's the truth. Literally. Yeah. I've almost had a similar. Your turkey show. chili yeah. is the truth. <laughs> it is. Sharon, I almost had a similar, not as. No, read her last didn't name. Go because as far this as is Sharon, a celebrity in the Sharon show. Sharon Stone, yeah. Sharon Stone Sharon watched Stone. the show this morning. So she got dressed, arrived at work, and when she stepped out of the car, she realized she only had her slip on. <laughs> and she forgot to put on her shirt, so she had to drive, uh, or her skirt, and so she had to drive 25, oh. I'm assuming, minutes or miles back home to finish dressing. Mm. I've, I've had it where. Um, no way. I have. No, I didn't actually like get in the car, but I was almost about ready to head out the door, and I realized I still had my jammy pants on instead of like my like pointe skinny <laughs> jeans or what or skinny pants on or whatever mm -hmm. for work. And I love uh, you as exactly, because then I, I usually There's roll in. There's a lot in. of words in this conversation. <laughs> I've, never I've got some questions actually. I'm gonna wait till she's done. <laughs> yeah. Was it regarding the slip? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm a 32 year old man, and I'm not 100 yeah. percent sure what a slip is. What? Yeah. I don't know. Well, like a nice little like layer under, under your dress, dress underneath. So it doesn't get static. But not Spanx. Or, no, it's it can not kind Spanx. of be like a compression. It's pre-Spanx. It's what pre people wore before Spanx were invented. Yeah. So like a man's yeah. undershirt, but for ladies. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It is it like a like one full piece body thing? No, usually it's, it's just, just a skirt. skirt. Just yeah, either way. Top. Ryan, what they're telling me is this comes in a bunch of varieties, and I'm no closer to understanding what no, it is than I was when we started. Far more confused. If you've than never I was a seen ago. one in real life, it's a, it's too it's past that point of explanation. Oh, okay, cool. Well, <laughs> fingers crossed <laughs> that I <laughs> run into one at some point. I don't know. You never know. It was dark. You don't want to see Spanx in real life either. You really don't. No. I was late to work once. So okay, so in news. Just once. Right. Yeah. So you try. You can't be late for the shows right yeah, no. but like you can be ambiguously late to your starting time five mm. minutes here ten minutes there's yeah. not going to kill you as long as you can make it up um there was a time i was late when i was working in tampa because if you guys have ever been in florida you know that there are little lizards everywhere mm -hmm. they're they're just they run the joint actually it's it's land of lizards it's land before time out there they used to love to nest in a tree that was above where I parked my car. Oh my God, no. And so all too often, there were lizards all over my vehicle when I would come out to leave. Oh and more than once, I left for work with a lizard that would not get off my windshield. <laughs> and so you take him, no, it's literally that. You're taking him for a ride and he's clinging on like this, like, oh man. Tail flailing. Often they would go flying off into, into the nether. Um, but, but once, one would not fly off. And I took him all the way to work with oh me. And I, I kind of felt bad because he wasn't expecting he was to go displaced. all the way to work. Where's his family? His wife's family. wondering where he's at. I know. He's never coming home. Yeah, he's going to get in so much trouble yeah, when he gets yeah. home, too. Children with no father. But maybe that's what he that wanted. How about that excuse? Yeah. I went to the TV station this morning. <laughs> Sorry. I got, I, I got oh, yeah, really. I to the TV station. <laughs> that's what I was to work on. <clears throat> I was hanging out with Paul again. His right. excuse. Hashtag Paul. lizard yeah. life. Man. Yes. <laughs> Wait, I like Sandra. She goes, my dog got out of the gate, had to run the neighborhood to get him, didn't have a dog. 
No. <laughs> Did you see that one trending? I think it was on Twitter where uh, it was like an exchange between an employee and a boss. And he was like, hey, I can't come to work. There's a cat on my car. And the boss was like, what do you mean there's a cat on your car? Like, is that worth your job? Like, get your ass in here. And the guy sent a picture of like a Caterpillar machine equipment that had fallen on his oh, car. Uh, <laughs> and it was like, oh, like yes, there's a cat on your car. Cats, uh -huh. yes. yeah. That makes a big gotcha. difference. My favorite is any excuse that gets used habitually on Mondays and Fridays. Yeah, weird. Mm. Yeah. Uh, That's why I feel like it's a food poisoning thing comes back. It's like the Super Bowl Sunday, right? Like nobody comes to work the next day. Yeah. We do. Kathy says, I left my new phone on the roof of my car and drove off. It was in the middle of our main roadway. Oh, you guys no. ever leave something on the hood or on the yeah. roof and drove oh, off? Yeah. yeah. Totally. Co coffee, coffee cups, cups. Yeah. a lot. Mm. Um, phone. Yeah, your phone. That's rescued bad. it, though. I never did that. Yeah. Why do you put your phone up there? That's dangerous, man. Well, sometimes you're putting stuff in the trunk, and I'm yeah. like, I'm just going to put it on the bumper, yeah. and then I'm like, oopsies. Um, yeah. You ever lock your keys in your car, like in yep. that in that same moment where you're putting stuff in and taking yeah. stuff out, and yeah, that's that's yeah. bad too. Yeah. Luckily now, some of the cars have the technology where they don't allow you to lock them yes. in there. Yeah, anymore. like and it beeps. Yeah, too, it beeps. Let you know it's if in you there. shut the door and your car's there, it's like yeah. Bah, 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 bah. I'm yeah. like, oh my key. To that point, one time I did actually leave my keys outside the car and they fell off, but because it has that technology, immediately like as soon as I pulled away, it was like key not detected. Oh, I'm like, yes. oh, no. oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank goodness. <laughs> Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Hey, no, hey, spin that camera around quick, Dave. Cindy's gonna run away. She's trying not to be on TV. Cindy, there she goes. Get her. Get her. Get her. Cindy organized the potluck this morning. She did the mashed potatoes. Be careful, Dave. There are cords. Oh my gosh. Incidentally, we also call that dance the mashed potato. Yeah, that right. She just did. Oh no, legitimately though, Cindy organized this did potluck. This is on her. Oh, we're going into this the abyss dedication. of the control room. Hey, Cindy. Hey, thanks for mash. putting the potluck together. So Cindy laid down some ground rules. Yes. Yeah. Um, no she's donuts. Like, no donuts. Yep. Yeah. Bagels. No bagels. Those are the morning staples. Like, you get stuck with those a lot. Basically, because we do that all the time. She's yeah. like, not a lot of sweets. Just try to have it actual real food. It was a really balanced. How did Dave just ate like six pieces of bacon and then ran across the studio? He's very spry. <laughs> well, that's where he gets the energy from. Hey, hey Courtney. Hey. Producer Courtney. C Banks. This is this is great, man, because it's kind of like, hey, who are we thankful for? And it's like all these humans that are a part of the show hey, that you never get to see. Oh, back, let's oh, <laughs> we haven't seen him on air in a while. Craig either. brought the bacon. He normally brings meatballs that are amazing. Oh my yeah. God, yes. Yeah, so but he so just good. brought them last week. So them we is that Kenny in the corner? Mm-hmm. We don't call him Kenny. Hey, how's it going, man? This is like on uh, like the Thanksgiving. You know they do on Thanksgiving when yes. you have football games and they like show all the crew and their yes. families and stuff. We don't have these guys mic'd up or else we'd have them send a message to the people at home. But you know. Hello, yeah. family. Hey, without these guys, this show wouldn't happen. Yes. Um, which I'm sure a lot of you are wishing it wouldn't happen because you're like, what are they even talking about? They're <laughs> eating chili guys? on the air. Anybody even watching? Look at anymore? the energy. How many uh, people are watching? So we saw some people watching. Crystal, you want to talk about the weather for a second today because I feel like this is an important thing that we've been yes. kind of talking about for a long time. And if the people are watching online, they might want to forecast. Whoa! Oh, Look yeah. out, Dave. oh man! Cut away from that camera at just Dave the right got time. Dave got clotheslined again. <laughs> Cindy, how dare you? Oh no! Go. Oh, oh my gosh! Do you want me to read the seven day? <laughs> so we have, we have the seven day. If I, I wasn't sure which graphic we would have to draw upon, but that one works. Dave, get some bacon. You've earned okay. it. <laughs> yeah, that's another slice. So, so we've been so so much uh, focused on the rain and the snow, right? You're I'm flustered right I'm now. <laughs> Officially off the rails. Okay. Mm. Okay. We're focused. Okay. Okay. Everybody, see that temperature me. today? Wait, 63. 63. Oh my gosh. So that's the high. That's, high. that's and degrees, that's right? Degrees. Yeah. And okay. that's your that's your <laughs> afternoon temperature, which is the hot. The I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. bleh, the lowest um, afternoon temperature we've seen in 254 March days. 12th, really? March 12th. Really? March 12th. This is the last. So this is a throwback to March 12th, and you have all the clouds to thank. And at any given time, here and there, on and off, we could squeeze some raindrops out of those clouds. Might even get a clap of thunder. And snow still in the forecast today. It's not going to be an all-day ordeal, but here and there, elevations above 6,000 feet. We'll see those showers blossom and deliver some more snow. And my goodness, tomorrow, opening day of Snowball, and then Saturday, opening day of Sunrise. So mm -hmm. sunshine will be back just in time for the weekend, whether you're hitting the slopes or just spending time outdoors. These temperatures are below average, so treasure them. Well, these are the days that you want to stay inside. <laughs> like, oh it's cold. Gosh. This so is you want your chili waistband forecast. Yes. Oh, there you go. That's stay at home. That is a new graphic I do need. Not, yeah. <laughs> do not wear I can see it now. Like, that has buttons or yeah. zippers. It's elastic waistband. You want my, my chicken noodle soup, chili, menudo. <laughs> 
soap, a sole, oh, yeah, all keep the talking. warm soups. My move with the elastic waistband is uh, to get gym shorts over your belly. Nice. Way over the belly button. Yeah. Keep it the makes whole... you feel a little bit better about yeah. yourself. You look better in the mirror. It's cleaner. Yeah, totally. It's like having a slip on. It, it, that's, yeah. like, that's like the men's slip. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when you have the gym shorts all the way up. I don't want that visual. Like yeah. inviting a Too late. To oh, whatever. Situation. No, you guys talk about all your, your secrets and your slips and your camisoles and your spanks and your whatever. But somehow on men, the, it's not a good yeah. Like for no. you guys have our own right tricks. Now. We have very pulling our gym shorts we, What is this? Do we have a late item? Ooh, what do we oh, have? A late oh, arrival. Oh, George bring some more Let's food out here. see some barbecue here. sauce in here. <laughs> what is it? Hey-oh. What do we got? What's in the bag? What's in the box? Pulled pork? Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, we got to make oh, room buddy. for more. Yeah, that was barbecue sauce. <laughs> oh, I mean, I already went for dessert, but there's no shame in going back, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry you guys at home don't get to try any of this. I know. Everything's really good, though. Okay, before we go. Did Safeway pay for that uh, <laughs> No, free advertising there? spot there. Oh, yeah. dang it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> sure. But she did make hummus the other day. That was a oh, that was his wife that made that. Your wife made so that, right? Oh, Yo, no, that was so better good. than store bought hummus. Oh, that was some better. dope hummus. Mm. What are we doing? A little drizzle? A little oh drizzle. yeah, it's like our own <laughs> cooking show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you lightly drizzle the barbecue sauce over top of the pulled pork. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. you should be with midday. Yes, you should be with midday. I Look love it. Professional drizzle. Uh, you guys gonna be so mad if they have to come in here and use this kitchen oh today. Uh, we're doing square off shortly. Actually, we got to get this whole mess out of here. Hey, real fast, we're gonna take a quick poll. Uh, there's five of us here. Who wants mm -hmm. to do fresh squeezed juice? Raise your hand if yes. Uh, wait, wait. Do we have any? Five. We're not doing it. Whoa. Do we have it? Have in case you missed <laughs> it? Yeah, we don't have time for it though. Well, you can show that instead of the juice. Well, I don't know. I'm not directing the show. Let Ryan read. CB. Um, she okay. says fresh squeezed okay. juice. Go right. You got a you got a prompt. I'll run. Wait, wait. Right. <laughs> what are you grabbing? Right. Right. Hey, oh, hey, right. hey, oh, hey, oh. All right, one more year for seven-time NASCAR champion Jimmy Johnson. Drop this is right up my lane left. here. Yeah. Yeah. That's all he says he will do before he retires for good. Oh. Johnson did announce on social media that the 2020 season will be his last as a full-time driver. Johnson will look to go out in style in 2020. He did have a disappointing 2019 yeah. season. He missed the playoffs for the first time since 2004. What? He does have 83 wins in his career and seven titles under his belt. He's tied with Dale Earnhardt and Richard Petty for the most titles won wow. on the circuit. So he's a surefire Hall of Famer as he goes in. I'm a little right. surprised, though. He didn't want to stick around a little bit more to see if he could be the all-time champion leader. Well, he could this year, yeah. right? He could, uh, but right now it's... It's just we'll one see. more year. So next year. We'll, we'll see. But yeah, the next thing year. is, what, are they, what happens after they retire? You know what I mean? They go back to their homes in North yeah. Carolina. They're sprawling <laughs> space. <laughs> they send him to a farm where he can race around with all the other retired drivers. So yeah. No, so Jimmy Johnson is actually super freaking smart. Um, and he's a crazy athlete. He ran the Boston Marathon in like three hours and ten minutes oh or something. God. Really? Yeah. And, um, and also, he wants to drive in other series. Uh, so this is the Sprint Cup Series. Okay. He wants to drive trucks and all the other oh, stuff. Okay. Uh, but he do, he can't do that full time as a Sprint Cup driver. So right. he's not going away. He's okay. just going to do some other stuff. Switching it up. I don't yeah. think a lot of people realize actually how difficult it is for race drivers. First of all, their season. Think how long it is. It's, it's like ten season. months long. Yeah. So and then they just test their cars for those two months. So there's really no off season when it comes to NASCAR. And then on top of that. They drive all over the country. Yeah, and the Literally. race ends on Sunday, <laughs> and then they got to be back at the racetrack by Wednesday yeah. to the next place, wherever it is. That's so brutal. it is actually a really difficult lifestyle. So I'm kind of surprised that a lot of them last this long as, as much as they do because it's very hard to follow around. You know what's not a difficult lifestyle? Eating food. Uh -huh. I'm out of popcorn. I got to go get more. It's time for pumpkin pie. Peace, Bye. people. I hope That's your Thanksgiving today. is as fantastic as this one has been. Thanks for putting up with us this morning. So good.